my name is Mimi and welcome to my home based story. So for today's topic, I will share with you how to earn $700 to $1,000 per month as a virtual assistant. Alam niyo naman lahat na ito yung work ko, so i-share ko sa inyo ano yung ginagawa ng virtual assistant, ano ba yung mga skills na kailangan mong matutunan as a VA or kailangan meron ka. Uh, magkano yung sinusweldo ng isang virtual assistant? Range lang guys ha. At saka kung saan kayo pwede mag-apply. So make sure you stay tuned until the end because I will share with you all the right places where you can look for openings kung gusto nyo maging isang virtual assistant na working at home. Start na tayo. So para sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, ano ba yung isang virtual assistant? Virtual assistant, coining from the term itself, is virtual meaning Yung trabaho mo is magiging online, hindi siya face-to-face. -face. Um, assistant ka in a terms na mag assist ka. <laughs> um, tutulungan mo yung client mo from, you know, um, other places with their work. Para din siyang PA, yaya, ganyan. Minsan all around na. <laughs> Marami yung scope of work ng isang VA. So, share ko sa inyo today is yung mga yung naging experience ko sa virtual assistant. Um, maraming different kinds ng virtual assistant. Maraming real estate virtual assistant, meaning yung magiging kliyente mo is um, a real estate agent or a broker. Or meron din naman na business owners. Marami talagang different kinds of VA. And sobrang laki nung sakop niya. You really have to be versatile when it comes to the job duties and responsibilities. So, share ko sa inyo, ano yung mga skills na usually required? So, dapat meron kang admin skills. Ano ba yung admin skills? So, that would include mga back-end na job. Like, halimbawa, typing, tapos entering data, which is madali naman kasi syempre ginagawa na rin naman natin yan sa school. Diba? Kailangan marun ka sa Microsoft Office. Pero ngayon kasi, hindi na talaga office kasi they're usually preferring to do it online with Google Drive. So, Google Drive, same lang siya ng Microsoft Office. Instead of Microsoft Word, meron silang Google Docs. Tapos, instead of Microsoft Excel, meron silang Google Sheet. Apart from that, kailangan meron hang attention to detail. Mahalaga yan kasi you're gonna be swamped with a lot of data and kailangan ma-enter mo sila ng maayos. Tapos, kailangan as admin, marunong ka mag- manage ng social media which means kailangan marunong ka ng ins and outs ng Facebook, ng Instagram, how to run ads, ayan, kasi syempre, ba may gusto silang i-promote na content, gagawa ka ng ads sa Facebook, mag-manage ng pages this would also include a little bit of search engine optimization meaning, kailangan marunong kang maglagay ng captions ng tags na relevant sa content na ipopost mo. Depende sa kung anong content na gusto mong ipapost sa'yo ni client mo. A common skill din na plus and required is basic photo editing. So, halimbawa, kailangan marunong ka mag-ayos ng orientation from port. Matabingi siya, ayos mo, ganyan. Or medyo madilim, papaliwanagin mo. So, basic lang naman, guys. Pero, of course, if you're knowledgeable in Photoshop, Illustrator, then that's definitely a plus. Pero kung starting pa lang kayo, basic lang naman yung kailangan nyo. You can use the built-in application on your computer. In case of Windows 10, you can use Photos. Right-click mo lang yung picture, tapos edit, tapos ando na. Pwede mo na siyang paliwanagin, i-crop, or ayusin ng orientation. So yan, madali lang naman sa photo editing. Ano pa bang skills? Kailangan syempre marunong ka mag-handle ng phone. Hindi naman kailangan lahat ng virtual assistant siya mag calls ka. Like, in my case, I rarely do phone calls. Marketing side talaga ako. Pero kailangan, syempre, magaling kang magsalita. Or at least you can converse well in English because, syempre, as an assistant, minsan may papatawagan sa'yo si client mo na, hey, can you reserve? Or can you book as a restaurant um, for a meeting? Ganyan. So, kailangan maintindihan ka rin naman nung tatawagan mo. Kailangan bihasa ka na rin <laughs> sa pag-handle ng mga tawag. Kasi minsan, pwede rin na sabihin niya na, hey, I'm busy. Can you take in my calls today? So, dapat, 
Mayroon ka ng basic call etiquette. For me, marketing, um, gumagawa ako ng mga marketing materials which includes flyers, postcards, any information na gusto nilang say, ipaprint tapos i-distribute doon sa mga magiging customers nila. I'm also in charge of that. Kailangan marunong ka rin gumawa ng presentation. Yan, ginagawa ko din yan. Bawa, they're gonna present at a seminar or at a conference. Ikaw yung magagawa ng presentation nila ng mga slides, kanyan tapos contacts nila sa database nila. Um, usually, yung mga clients database naman naka-set up na yan kapag nag-start ka. Hindi ka magagawa ng database from scratch. Sa iba yon. <laughs> what it's like for me is pipicture niya yung business card tapos isasend na lang niya sa akin, email niya can you enter this on our database. Ako na yung bahala doon. I-enter ko yung name, last name, yung phone number, yung email. Nakalagay na doon, nakagroup na. So, pag ba in the future, if we're gonna contact this person, then madali na niyang mapupull up sa database. Digitize na, kumbaga, diba? Nagko-compile din ako ng files in my previous work. Sale siya. Tapos, I'm assisting yung operations manager. So, part nun yung paggagawa ng report. Ikaw yung magsiset up ng, ng sheet ng Excel. Tapos, ilalagay mo dun yung lahat ng sales, yung total number of sales, yung total number of cancellations. Pero, prepare mo siya sa isang parang end of day or end of week report. Tapos, isesend mo dun sa client mo. So, kailangan marunong ka rin mag-analyze. Hindi mo naman kailangan ng bonggahang experience or knowledge sa pagpipivot-pivot ng mga Excel. Pero, syempre, kailangan marunong ka mag-analyze and mag-interpret ng data. I think yun na yung parang basic, guys, na kailangan yung malaman. Yun lang naman, just to summarize, it's just admin work, database management, social media management, basic photo editing, presentation skills, and call handling skills. Konti lang naman, being a virtual assistant covers a lot of skills and different types of work. Pero, bottom line is yung anim na shiner ko. Yun, dun, dun din naman bumabagsak yung category na yun. If you have those skills and something that you're very familiar in doing, then go for it na. Go, go, go. Go. <laughs> start na kayo. If you're interested in working from home, just start right away. If it doesn't work out, you can always try for another one naman din now. I think pag-usapan naman natin yung sweldo. So, the range of salary for a virtual assistant, ito yung competitive salary na ha. So, make sure na if you have all those skills and more, then don't short sell yourself. Make sure you negotiate well with your client. It, the range would be from $700 to $1,000 in a month. So, pwede pwede na guys. That would be around 35,000 to 50,000 pesos. Imagine, so that's a big help sa gasto sa bahay, di ba? If you guys are looking at that range, I would definitely recommend starting out or trying applying as a virtual assistant. Highly recommended ko talaga to. So, ito na yung pre-namis ko kanina. Saan kayo pwedeng mag-apply? Make sure you take this down. If you're interested in applying as a virtual assistant, you can try applying first in onlinejobs.ph. They have over 50,000 openings in that uh, website alone just for Filipinos. Make sure that you check out their website and register there. I made a separate video on how you can create your onlinejobs.ph account and how to get a high ID proof. Make sure you check it. I posted the link up there and it's gonna be also on the description box below. Tapos, um, so onlinejobs.ph, you also have Upwork. I also created a video on how to create an account there. And yung third is yung Facebook group. Maraming groups doon. So, you can try Virtual Assistant Network Philippines, Home Base Call Center Philippines. Ayan, ipapakita ko sa inyo sa screen na to. Hindi ko kasi siya kabisado. Pero ayan, ayan sila. Check nyo na lang yung mga groups na yan. Okay? Ayan, guys. So, kapag may mga nakalimutan ako, I know this is not very detailed. Kasi, syempre, for confidentiality purposes, I really cannot share with you yung exact na mga ginagawa ko everyday. Pero, yun, mukha namang na-cover ko lahat. Pag may questions pa kayo, don't hesitate to ask. Kung natuwa kayo sa video na to, give it a thumbs up. Tapos, yun, comment nyo na lang yung mga reaction and yung mga questions nyo. And I'll get back to you right away. Okay? Ayan, guys. So, Yan na muna for now, um, and I'll see you again on our next video. Thanks for watching. Bye! 
you're interested in working from home, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell button so that you're updated whenever I upload a new video.